Hello, engineering lovers worldwide. I'm Jose riding this electric unicycle. It has a different small motor, and today you'll learn what a brushless motor is. Hey, engineering lovers. Today, we're going to talk about a slightly different electric motor known as a brushless motor or a motor without brushes. It was a topic requested by one of our members and several people also asked for it in our video. Speaking about direct current and alternating current motors, but before I tell you about brushless motors, take the opportunity to subscribe if you haven't already, leave your like and activate the notification bell. And if you find our content interesting, consider becoming a member to help us keep producing content here on the platform and be remembered in our videos. You must be wondering why I'm holding a drone and a computer cooler in my hand. And actually, I'm here to show you that the types of motors used in these items are exactly brushless motors. It's a type of electric motor that converts electrical energy into mechanical motion, just like many other types of electric motors. But it differs from conventional motors because it doesn't have brushes and commutators. For example, if we open a conventional direct current motor, We'll see these contacts that touch the main shaft, which we call brushes. And also a device called a commutator, which is where these brushes touch to generate the movement of the motors. When you turn on this type of motor, the brushes make contact with the commutator. And it's responsible for reversing the electrical direction of the motor's coils, and that's what makes the motor spin. But this contact ends up causing friction and wear over time. And eventually, the motor will stop working and you'll have to replace the brushes or the commutator because of this wear. But when we look at brushless motors, they simply don't have brushes and commutators. And the system that allows the motor to spin is now done electronically. Let's go. Brushless stator. The stator, which is this little part here, contains the coil windings which are fixed and don't move. The rotor, in turn, contains permanent magnets and is the part that spins when electrical power is applied to the stator. It controls the magnetic field of the stator coils and with that it controls the rotation of the motor according to the magnetic field. To better understand, imagine that you have a brushless motor with three coils and a stator with a fixed magnet with north and south polarity. The motor's electronic board controls the magnetic field of the stators. So, if we connect two coils with opposite magnetic fields, the rotor's magnet will be attracted to one of the coils while being repelled by the other at the same time. When the rotor's magnetic field is almost aligning with the electric one, align the motor's magnetic field is, it can align the motor. The magnetic energy is almost electric energy. When the motor is almost aligning the magnetic energy, it can align the electric energy. When the magnetic field is almost there, the electric energy can align the motor with electricity. It allows for the optimization of motor efficiency, reduction of vibrations and noise, as well as enabling features like variable speed control and smooth motor reversal. Due to the elimination of brushes and mechanical commutators, Brushless motors are generally more efficient and durable than their brushed counterparts. The absence of moving parts subject to mechanical wear results in a longer lifespan and lower energy losses due to friction. But does every brushless motor have electronic control? Yes. In general, brushless motors are designed to be used with electronic control. This happens because the efficient and precise operation of these motors depends on electronic control to determine the correct power sequence for the windings. That the way they are connected can be different. In computer cooler motors, for example, the input connection is usually made with just two contacts, one positive and the other negative for direct current. And the electronic control of the motor is inside this little board of the motor and it's what controls the magnetic field of the coils. To control the speed of these motors, you control the input voltage. In brushless motors like the ones we see in drones, they are usually connected by three wires. 
That's because this type of motor doesn't have the electronic control inside it, only the connection of the coils. And to use them, we use what we call ESCs, or electronic speed controllers, or as many people call them, motor drivers. These controllers are powered by direct current, and they're the ones that generate the energy. They interpret the control signals, such as the rotor position, and adjust the power delivered to the coils. To control the rotation speed of the motors, instead of controlling the input voltage, the electronic speed controller changes the programming of the coils. The main reason for relying on this electronic control is the nature of the operation of brushless motors. The absence of brushes and mechanical commutators means there is no direct way to reverse the direction of the electric current in the motor coils, as happens in traditional direct current motors. Therefore, Electronic control becomes essential to coordinate the precise delivery of power to the stator windings, ensuring smooth movement and motor efficiency. Brushless, but how does this controller work? The operation of a brushless motor can be understood through several stages, involving the principles of electromagnetism and precise electronic control. Inside the controller, there is a system with several sensors that determine the sequence of power supply to the stator coils. In other words, it tells which coils will be turned on, what their polarity will be, and which ones will be turned off. In this diagram, for example, we can see a brushless motor being powered. In this graph, we can see a sequence of stages. Since a motor has three contacts, we have three diagrams. Each diagram shows a graph where when it's up, the contact is supplied with a positive. In the middle, it is off, and downwards, it is supplied with the negative from the power supply. This way, each contact has a connection stage. When the first contact is off, the second is being supplied with the positive, and the third is connected to the negative. Next, the first contact will be connected to the negative, the second contact will remain connected to the positive, and the third contact will be off, and so on. It's this sequence of stages that controls the rotation of the motor so that it completes a full turn of the rotor that is from 0 to 360 degrees. The energizing sequence is crucial to keep the rotational movement smooth. And what are the advantages of turning it off? The third point, the presence of brushes, reduces energy losses due to friction, making brushless motors more efficient. The lack of moving parts subject to mechanical wear contributes to a longer lifespan. This electronic control allows for fine adjustments in speed and direction, providing a smooth and quick response. And for those who have worked with conventional electric motors, you know that eliminating brushes reduces the need for regular maintenance, making brushless motors more practical for long-term applications. And where is it most common to find this type of brushless motor? Electric cars, electric bicycles, and even electric scooters and other electric vehicles often use this type of motor because of its efficiency and ability to provide instant torque. Brushless motors are widely used in drones due to their lightweight, efficiency, and quick response capability. They provide the necessary thrust for vertical and horizontal propulsion. Some power tools, such as cordless drills and even some cordless vacuum cleaners, may have brushless motors to provide enhanced efficiency and durability. And, as I already mentioned, computer coolers and cooling systems, which require precise and efficient rotations, often use this type of motor. But more than that, some modern appliances, such as washing machines and dryers, may use brushless motors to improve energy efficiency and reduce mechanical wear. In industrial, educational, or domestic robots, brushless motors are common due to... or I need it for myself. confirms they didn't use these motors. Very efficient. Helico and Umruktadas immediately. Here on the side are two videos you might like and should check out to keep learning. And if you want to support us, 
leave your like, subscribe to the channel, activate the bell, and consider becoming a channel member. That's it, engineering lovers. A big hug, and I'll see you in the next video.